In 1731, Voltaire published his first edition of Histoire de Charles XII, Roi de Suède. His historical accounts of the life and deeds of the Swedish king Charles XII are of the utmost importance regarding the history of this man and of Sweden. It took Voltaire around five years to write the first edition. At the Bibliothèque d'Etudes et de Conservation in Besançon, rare books specialist Alistair Edridge is going to present a copy of the 1768 edition of Voltaire's Ouvre Complète, which remains as relevant today as it was when it was first published. Come follow us to the heart of France's first public library. The 609 pages book is actually divided in two parts, the Histoire de Charles XII, Roi de Suède, and the Histoire de l'Empire de Russie sous Pierre le Grand. When Voltaire began to write his book about Sweden, the two giant northern empires had recently made peace following the deadly northern war of 1700-1721. After the 1731 publication, Voltaire made numerous changes to his book, which resulted in the printing of a dozen editions until 1768. That year, Voltaire wrote the last modifications of his Histoire de Charles XII. They were published in what is called the Geneva edition of the Oeuvre Complète de Monsieur de Voltaire. It was printed in the Republic of Geneva by Gabriel Kramer. Kramer was the printer, editor, and bookseller of Voltaire, who could not take the risk to print his work in the Kingdom of France. The dawn of the 18th century marked the birth of a more rationalist method of research and scholars. The will to write a historical story based on facts, as proven as possible, can be seen multiple times in this book. This copy of the 1768 edition is an inquarto with a calfskin full binding. The book is decorated with a golden floral ornament on its spine with raised bands. It also has a golden triple fillet on both its covers. Among the visual highlights of this copy are two engravings made by Augustin de Saint-Aubin. These engravings represent the two men at the heart of this book, King Charles XII and Peter the Great. Though the book itself may seem basic, the intellectual and material efforts Voltaire and Gabriel Kramer put into offering the public a thorough historical investigation is remarkable. The book is easy to manipulate and navigate. For example, dates accompany every mention event in the book. There is also a table of contents, listing the different chapters of both books as well as the list of sources Voltaire included. Speaking of sources, not only did Voltaire take care most of the time of explaining to the reader where he obtained his information and from whom, he also included several transcripts. Voltaire's aim with this book was to make a comparison between Charles and Peter. What Voltaire wanted and hoped was that princely educators and princes would read these histories. On one side, Charles, painted by the author as a brave and mostly victorious king who met a real end. On the other side, Peter, sometimes a winner, sometimes a loser, the tyrant of a backward gigantic empire. In reality, however, Voltaire was trying to show that Charles was a butcher who sent thousands of his subjects to die, while Peter, the cruel, was a reflective, careful, and patient reformer.